What's good YouTube? It's your boy Musala's Fitness back with another video with a little bit of voiceover. It seems that you guys are enjoying these type of videos. Um, today I am giving you guys my lower body workout, which is pretty much leg day, um, but it's lower body. That's what they call it, you know. I'll, like I told you, my split. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Musa. Uh, my current split is push, pull, leg, rest day, upper, lower. Um, you can do it all the way around upper lower rest day push pull leg it's up to you uh, whatever works for you this is what works for me so this is my first um lower body session of this program so far so let's get into it let's do this thing uh, make sure to like comment subscribe all that goodness but yeah let's go so we started off with deadlifts and this is something i haven't done in months maybe a year i don't even know how long it's been this is the last time I deadlifted, but as always, whenever I'm starting my workout, start with just the bar, just focus on my form, uh, back to my hamstrings, quads, all that stuff, and just making sure that I'm ready to lift some heavy, heavy stuff, but make sure form is always number one. I'm not trying to get myself injured and then be out for a couple months. I want to be in the gym for a long, long time. Start off with that one plate. Um, this is this gym's pretty good, fitness world. Um, the reason why I like going and training legs at this particular gym is because they have these weights here which are which are huge and they also have like the old like plasticky these these 20 so that means i don't have to do all that stuff of trying to lift it up put the plates in that's just that's an extra workout whereas these ones i can just chuck them in and they're just gliding smoothly which is awesome um now we're at 100 kg it's, it's starting to get a little bit a little bit heavy a little bit heavy but again just warming up, making sure the body is registering things, taking it to 140. Then once there, I was like, okay, I'm starting to feel this. This is starting to get a little bit heavy in it. Um, as you can see, I'm a, I'm a fairly tall guy. I'm like six foot three. So deadlifting has always been a sticky one. This a, it hasn't been hard, but it can be kind of taxing on the lower back. Yeah, you know I mean, like look, look at my legs are very long. My Upper half of my body very short compared to my, my legs are long, you know. So that's that's a that's a lot of bend that I have to do in order to really avoid like my back getting injured. That's why I'm always like tracking my shoulders, making sure my back is straight before I lift because I'm not trying to get injured again. I've never been injured from my deadlift ever, but yeah, gotta play it safe all the time with the workouts. But the, the max we did was again here we go we gotta go to the to the phone again got you got you know track your track your progress you know what i think we did 170 for four reps times five if i'm if i'm if i'm, if I'm clear lower body let's go let's see what we got lower body deadlifts oh yeah we, we just did week two didn't we um we did five sets in total we did 140 for eight reps, which was the first set that you guys saw. Then we did 170 three times for four reps. And then we did 140 again, six reps. There was five sets in total. Um, good amount of volume. Then one's there. But my hands were slipping a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I definitely need to get myself some liquid chalk for my protein and that. Um, I did have it before. Probably still do have a little bit somewhere around here, but yeah, liquid chalk definitely helps me. I tried using straps, but straps for me, as you can see, they're on the floor over here, just hovering on the side. They're just there. I, I don't like straps. I can't lift deadlift with straps. I can't do it. Like I genuinely tried lifting <laughs> like this with one rep. I was like, nah, nah. this is right. This, this shit ain't even moving. I naturally have good grip strength. So I, because I've been training like that throughout my career, I've never used anything like straps or gloves and stuff like that it's never been my thing so to all of a sudden change it up to start using straps it just feels weird it just doesn't run like it, no so i need to get myself chalk liquid chalk i've used um which works really well for me yeah next up we have sumo squats now i like sumo squats um again just engaging the hamstrings quads um i did do some pause reps as well that's what we'll be seeing soon. But yeah, we did this one for how many reps did we do this for? Sumo squats. We did four sets. Um for four sets, ten full reps, and then we did five pulses. 
uh, with a four, 42 kg dumbbell and as you can see i'm pretty high up um the, uh, the reason normally you, you could do this without the elevation but if you want to get that extra depth it is very nice and and it feels it feels good that legs burning and that if you want that extra depth you need to have some elevation you don't do you need it i would say yes elevation really does help but again if you're only target trying to target the glutes then maybe you don't really need this elevation this elevation really gets the hamstrings and quads really fired up as well as the glutes. So you're getting a three for one. You might as well do it in it. Like get, get that extra depth. All you have to do is just find these things in your gym. Get that extra depth. Get that three for one. You know what I'm saying discount. <laughs> Let's go. Squeezing. Squeezing. I have no idea why I was wearing a long sleeve in this heat. But I, I normally wear long sleeves on leg day anyways. I don't know. It's just a habit I have. But I'm Mona Lisa there, you know, them socks there, come on, don't even at me. Um, here we're doing stiff-legged deadlifts. Um, I'm not doing it with dumbbells anymore because the dumbbells, the most they go up to is 42 kg. Uh, 42 kg times 2, not much, it's like 80. So I'm over 100 here already. No, almost. I'm at 90 kg. But here, I'm over 100. Um, really getting them hamstrings. Look, look, look at my hamstrings pop. Them hamstrings pop in. Really, really focused on my legs this last couple of the year and a half. I've been really pushing legs. I don't want to be that guy that people look at. Like, oh, look, his upper body is so big and he, he don't train legs. It, I ain't never had anyone come up to me and say, do you train legs? Never. That's never happened to me. So in that department, but the blessed, but the blessed in that department, I never get anyone coming up to me and say, yo, do you, you skip leg day? I'm lucky, but we finished, we finished off with lunges calves but lunges was like this we did four sets of that as well i think so i'm using dumbbells um i as you guys know in the previous video i would use what did i use in my leg day i used the 15 kg thing in it whereas this one um because i got arrested the next day i decided you know let me just push a little bit more so i added 5 kg it's still progressive overload it don't matter if it's 0 0.5 1 kg 1.5 kg it don't matter if you're lifting more than you lifted the week before whatever it is that is progress progressive overload that is going to lead to ultimately muscle growth so each week don't have it doesn't have to be if you're advanced like in my myself been training for since i was 15 so that's like what 13 years um of course the first seven eight years on and off but if you've been training like me for that long um you get to a stage where your progress is going to be once every two weeks or maybe once every month you might make like a 0 0.5 a 1 kg uh better progress but if you're a beginner you should be making progress weekly or every other week your numbers should be going up or reps sets you know what i mean i'm under tension all that stuff it, sh it should be increasing um i know a lot of beginners just want to get in the gym and just lift but you really need to focus on those things as well if you want to get bigger if you're just doing it for aesthetics and stuff, then obviously it's more of a hit workout where you're just doing it. Rest period is like 30 seconds. Whereas for me, my rest period was like two to three minutes. Let's do deadlifts was like three minutes, four minutes. Halves, really squeezing at the top. Squeeze. I don't like calves, man. <laughs> I don't like, I don't think anyone really likes training calves, but as long as you actually do them, like I feel like some people... They know they're not going to do it at the end of the leg workout. So I would advise you just to do it at the beginning. Do it at the beginning of your workout so you kind of forget them. Um, <laughs> but if you wait until the end and you know you're finished, which in most cases I am, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Even these are reps that I'm seeing here, I'm kind of rushing it a bit. Um, I normally do it way slower than this. But yeah, I just wanted to leave. I, I, I'm totally honest with you. I don't even lie to you guys. I'll tell you how it is, isn't it? Man wanted to get out of there. I was like, why am I training calves for? Come on, man. Look, I'm, they're still squeezing, but it's, it could be way slower than this. Way, way slower than this. Um, but yeah, that is it for the workout. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, learned a few tips and stuff. Um, I also do train calves on other days. I've told you guys this before. Like in between sets, like rest periods, I'll just go do a little bit of calf raises and stuff. Calf is a stubborn, stubborn muscle because you're using it every single day walking all that stuff you're just using it it's going to be hard for it to you're going to have to give it something else for it to say you know what now we need to develop a little bit 
because it's used to being used so much you need to use it even more if you can train calves every day to do that do it train it every day bro you know what I'm saying <laughs> if you like me you know what I'm saying um, but they are my, my calves are developing um, but very slow so I do need to give them way more attention but yeah that was a really good session I really liked it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I um, already said that don't know why I repeat myself like comment subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one love life love life love life